can't take a hit. Hi, I'm Mike Channel from Official Xbox Magazine. Um, if there's one thing I hate, it's getting up in the morning. But if there's one thing that's worth getting up for, it's Gears of War 3 and uh, Carlos Ferro, who plays uh, Don Santiago. Um, so, Don was kind of put through the emotional ringer uh, in Gears 2. Does he get an easier ride this time around? You know, I don't know that I would say that. <laughs> I think that uh, Don, you know, I, I like to think that he's like the emotional center and the heart of Gears of War franchise. And Gears of War 3, we're wrapping up the story. up and I have to talk loud. It's early for me too by the way. Me and Mike, this is, this is, we're still hang, hung over and you know just got home. So you know I wanted to come to London and tell everybody that Gears of War 3 is going to wrap up the story and Dom, Dom's got a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff happening so we'll be disappointed. If we don't grow it, we don't eat it, remember? I think the radishes can cope without you for a while. <sighs> okay. Let's get this over with. Has anyone been messing with your radishes this morning? You know, the radishes are safe for now. <laughs> the uh, the crops are fine. It's a long day though. Someone could have someone's gotta make food. <laughs> Dom's taken a lot of shit <laughs> for for cooking or not cooking but for raising, harvesting food. But you know, the dogs gotta eat too. So you know, and humanity's in the, everyone's in the fight now. You know, it's not you know after the Sinto fell. I mean, it's it's about the species, folks. So. Uh, I like that he's raising radishes. Yeah, eat your vegetables. Is that the secret behind the, the cogs kind of imposing physique? Is it, is it eating yeah. vegetables? You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many jokes there. You know, you know, and I'm not going to take any of them. So there you go. I'll take so, I mean, obviously this is this is goodbye for Delta Squad. It is. You must, you must be sad to see them go. I am. And, and, I, and I'm particularly sad because it's been such an amazing run. And the fans, I've, I've uh, those who follow me on Twitter, I'm all about the fans. I'm a fan. I'm a big geek, and I know that uh, if I wasn't involved in, in Gears of War, I would be bummed out. And so, as you can imagine, for me, that has been able to breathe life into these characters and, and be involved in storytelling. I mean, there's a lot of Dominic Santiago in me now, and he used to be the other way around. He used to be putting my, putting my personality into the character, and now it's it's, it's kind of bittersweet. You're gonna be meeting a lot of those fans at midnight tonight at the game store. I. I'm telling you, you, you have the first first exclusive and everybody else is going to hear it all night long. I was asked, where do you want to be at midnight for the release of Years of War 3? And I said, f***ing London. So, I mean, often when you're like recording voiceover for games and stuff, you don't really get to know the, the other guys, but you, you know the guys from Delta Spring. I know them all very, very well. In fact, uh, John and I are old friends. We've done, we actually came up doing voiceover together. Um, he is a crazy prolific voice actor and uh, I actually was a big fan of John's. Uh, we were colleagues, and I. There was a time when I just, I really wanted to, to be like he was. I wanted to. I admired his work, and so the fact that we ended up on a project because we have been in like, if you do our IMDb cross reference, we've done Spawn together, anime projects together. Uh, I think we've done a Scooby Doo movie that's still to come out <laughs> together. We've done a lot of work, but this project, I mean, we've done the Maria Finding Maria scene in the same booth together. Um, you know, it's been a crazy five, six years, and you need to do scenes like that together. Absolutely, right? absolutely. And and you know, I I, I will say we, we kept that tradition of years three. He and I worked together in the booth. So uh, a lot of people won't know that you're also the voice of Leonardo da Vinci in the Assassin's Creed series, right? Yes, I am. How does that differ from like doing doing Dom? Look at them. You know, one one guy is a, a meta human. You know what I mean? He's he's, he's, a, he's a super. He's not a superhero with superpowers. Definitely is, you know, a guy that can chainsaw locusts with that lancer. Whereas Leonardo da Vinci, I try to play him as a Tony Stark of his time. And uh, uh, but in both cases, they're loyal friends to a fault that support the cause and the good fight and all that. And it's 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 amazing for an actor, and I think in television, stage, anything, to play such good guys and such such you know guys fighting for all the stuff that you know make comic books for reading. Tell me where you're going to be tonight. Tonight I'm going to be at the game store on Oxford 
street with my peoples. Thanks, Donald Father in the house. Confirm, I'll take as well. Yeah, he's eating your radishes. So Santiago eating radishes, yeah.